Gentlemen, welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh, here on YouTube. It's a beautiful morning here in Peterborough. So I wanted to talk about, um, now Hil Hillary's uh, sent me a few harmonicas over the last few months. And I wanted to talk about one she sent me uh, a few months ago. It's called the the Melody by the William Kratt Company. Uh, it says on the box, professional harmonica, solid brass plates and reeds, and precision tuned. And then it gives the uh, address, made in USA, William Kratt Company, 988 Johnson Place, Union, New Jersey, registered USA. Um, I looked up, I looked up for information on this harmonica, and there really isn't a lot of information on it, but, um, there was some cool pictures and stuff, but, um, yeah, so this is a real old school harmonica. Uh, William Kratt was born in 1892, um... And I think he started making instruments around 1915. Um, he's mostly well known for those, you know, if when you're in, in grade school and you're singing in class and the teacher has those round uh, black and silver pitch pipes. Um, those, are, those are the main product of the Kratt Company, and I believe they are still in production. Um, Kratt made a number of... Uh, chromatic harmonicas um kind of like knockoffs of the ha the honer models um and they made a few models of the diatonic uh harmonica such as this one uh i'm not sure of how they you know i'm sure there was a top tier product and a bottom tier product but i'm not really sure how they worked that but uh yeah this harmonica is in, is in, other than a bit of scuffing on the back cover plate, is in excellent shape. Um, I don't know if you can see that mel melody on there. Uh, it says, oh goodness, professional harmonica, melody. It has the, the, the note, like the one to ten uh, note designations. And on the back, it just says Krat. I think, yeah, this is William, William W. M. Krat Co. Co. So William Krat Company. Um, it's got it's got like some scuffing on the back, but that just happens, right? Um, I got the original papers for this harmonica in here. Um, but they're all kind of decimated. And really, they're just... Uh, they teach you how to play, like, Swanee River. Um, it's just like a little, like, beginner song. Beginner song kind of thing, from what I can tell. It's all in little crumbly pieces. So. But, very cool. Now, this is a real old school harmonica. It's got a wooden body, has pins holding everything together. Um, I'm sure that's the same inside. But it's sturdy. It's got like a real, you could not crush that. You could not sit on that and crush it, you know. Um, Still plays great. All the uh, notes are in fine shape. It's a little more difficult to play, but I'm gonna compare it to its uh, 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 peer, a peer style harmonica, the Honer Marine Band, uh, key of C. Now this is kind of a new harmonica, so but it's the same idea: wooden body, 
tin, uh, pins holding it together. Exactly the same size. This is what a, what a marine band sounds like. It's a little easier to play. Yeah, this one isn't isn't quite as airtight, you know, but it still plays great. And uh you know, I'm sure it's you know, like harmonicas have improved a great deal over the last uh century, I guess. Um and I I don't know how old this harmonica is, but I know it's older than me, that's for sure. Um it's probably over 50, over, well over 50 years old. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful little harmonica for, uh, you know, carrying in my pocket and doodling around on. And uh, it's a beautiful collector's piece, you know, because the box, the harmonica are almost in perfect condition. Other than the scuffing on the back, the box is in great condition. So this was a total awesome score. Uh, so thank you very much, Hillary. That's amazing. I'm just sitting here waiting on my buddy Wes. We got a double rehearsal today. I'm going to pack a, pack a lit here. Copenhagen Mint. Oh, yeah, baby. So I, I put up my shout out comments yesterday and uh, cheers all. I put up my shout out comments yesterday and uh, in the comments to that I got uh, there was a few people who I would like to mention that just didn't show up in the... I just go back... I just scroll back the comments for the week and do it that way. But there's people I w like to mention, you know. I got comments from uh, Two Wheels Dipper 98. Uh, Two Wheels is a cool, cool dude. Um, uh, check out his channel. And uh, Soldier Poet. Uh, always, always a total pleasure to see you in the comments. And... Uh, you know, if you need a bit of inspiration, a bit of spirituality, go to go to Soldier Poet. See what he's up to. You know? um, and I also forgot to mention, he didn't show up in the comments this week, but I always want to mention is uh, Kurt Gainford, the, uh, the mastermind behind uh, Merkwood Recordings, the record label that I record for. And... Uh, Merkwood's on a bit of a hiatus right now, um, just due to Kurt's overloaded work schedule, etc. And uh, but uh, it'll, I'm sure it'll be back soon. And uh, if you have, you know, if, if you like music, go check out Merkwood Recordings, uh, the Merkwood Recordings page on, like, you can Google it. Uh, you can. Look it up here on YouTube. Um, if you like music, the, I guarantee you there's something on there that, that you will like, you know. Um, I personally, there's not a thing on, like I'm pretty fussy with music. And there's not a, not a other, not a, not a, not a thing I don't like on Merkwood Recordings. I like everything I've heard on Merkwood Recordings, so. Um. I'm not just saying that because I, I record for them. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I love, I love uh, what they do. And uh, I've been pumping up Bone, Bone Daddy microphones a bit uh, these days. But Red Screamer 57, available now, 35 bucks. Bone Daddy ghetto microphones on Facebook. Check it out. Um, yeah, I've been talking about his microphones a lot. We got there's there's really cool news coming concerning my signature model uh, Spit Biscuit microphone. 
there's been some modifications, but I'm very excited about them. And uh, I'm, I can't, I, I'm so grateful to Mr. Bone Daddy for doing doing that for me. It, it's, a, it's a mighty big feather in my uh, musical hat, having a signature brand harmonica microphone. So, um, yeah, so new, big news is coming that way sometime soon. And, uh, but check out Bone Daddy's, uh, YouTube channel. Um, there's a, there's actually a lot of Bone Daddies out there, but his, like, if you punch in, like, one of the song titles, like Legba's Waltz, or, uh, Moonshine Swang, or, uh, Still Raining, you know, uh, next to Bone Daddy, his channel will come up. And if you like, lo-fi blues and like the real the real texas ghetto blues uh it doesn't get any realer than bone daddy you know he's the guy's a wizard <laughs> the guy's just a fucking wizard he plays uh three and four string cigar box guitars builds all his own percussion builds all his own builds everything he just go check out his videos they're amazing so yeah his music is some of my favorite music in the world. So, ups to Bone Daddy once again. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm just sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting on, waiting on a friend. Um, but I've kept you long enough. So, thanks for listening to me talk about the Melody Krat harmonica. Uh, an excellent part of my collection and uh, a playable part of my collection as well. So thank you very much. Hilary Thompson for the mellow, mellow, melody. All right, y'all. Be well, stay free, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.